Hello, I'm going to show you how to file income tax quarterly updates for landlords using the 123 Sheets bookkeeping spreadsheet. You would first need to download the Lettings bookkeeping file. You can do that from within your account if you have purchased the bookkeeping spreadsheet already. I'm going to show you a demo version for the purposes of this video. Upon opening the spreadsheet, you should go to the Settings tab first and choose the various options that best suit your needs. These options will make the spreadsheet more simple or more complex depending on what is chosen. In this example, we have added some complexity and have chosen the options not VAT registered, there are multiple beneficiaries on varying percentages of properties, we want to show per property analysis, we want to be able to enter data from agent statements. To start adding income details, click on Rent and fill in these columns accordingly. The process is the same for the Expenses and Other Entries tabs. You can, of course, copy and paste underlying data from sources, such as a download of a bank transaction. You can also add data from letting agent statements. To get an overview of the totals over the course of a certain period of time, click the Income and Expense Report tab. From here, you can change the date range and view totals for different beneficial owners and properties. To view a ledger of all transactions, either by property or beneficial owner, we can use the ledger report. When you're ready to file quarterly submissions, click on Income Tax File in the Reporting category. We can click on the detailed report to see what is in a quarterly submission first. Then, when we are happy with that, we can create a PDF ready for submission. Clicking HMRC file will generate a PDF to upload to our website the quarterly summary data HMRC is looking for. Upon clicking HMRC file, a warning pop-up will appear, as after the HMRC file is generated, the data for that period will be locked, and any later amendments will have to be listed as additional transactions in whichever tab necessary. After clicking OK, the file will be generated and will open automatically. This will be saved as a PDF file that you will upload to our website. So, go to our website, log in, and on the To Do tab, you can see the outstanding returns. The data on the To Do and History tabs is live data provided by HMRC, and if you have self-employment income, any required quarterly submissions for those will also show on this page. In this example, the first quarterly update for one of the properties has already been filed and can be viewed and amended in the History tab. In this example, we are going to resubmit the first quarter, so click on Amend. From this page, you will need to choose the file type from the options here. Since we are using the 123 Sheets Bookkeeping Spreadsheet, we need to pick 123 Sheets PDF. If you are using consolidated expense figures, tick this box. Then you will need to upload your PDF file by dragging and dropping the file onto the page, clicking on Add File, and then Show Figures. Alternatively, you can click on Choose File, find the file from your window pop-up, and upload it. You will then be shown the uploaded figures. Double check and verify that these figures are correct, Tick the confirmation box and click File. You will get an on-screen confirmation that HMRC has accepted the return. Thank you for watching and feel free to try out our demo and set up an account.